Mr. Secretary, uh, over the past year, about a million people have come into our country through the southern border unlawfully coming to the border and then being allowed into the country. Most of them have claims under the asylum system, a system where at the end of the process, once their claims are adjudicated, more than 80 percent are denied. This year, DHS is expecting 1.5 to 2 million people to come to our border unlawfully. You've been using Title 42 to turn back um, about another 1 million people. So clearly, not having Title 42 is going to lead to a lot more folks uh, coming to the border unlawfully and, and being allowed into the country. On Fox News Sunday this past week, I was watching you. Uh, you said that asylum seekers, quote, make their claims under the law. If those claims do not prevail, they are promptly removed from the United States, end quote. According to information we've received, about 1.2 million unlawful migrants have been issued a final order of removal. Those are people who go through the asylum process and their claims uh, are adjudicated and they are denied. You only deported 59,000 people last year. That would be the lowest percentage in the history of the country. With these numbers, how can you say that asylum seekers whose claims are denied are, quote, promptly removed, end quote, from the United States? Uh, Ranking Member Portman, thank you very much. Uh, that 59,000 figure is not the figure that I have, but I will uh, drill down on that. Do you know what figure you, you have? Um, yes, I, yes, I do. I believe it is um, uh, over 74,000. 74,000? Uh, Under the Obama oh, years. Uh, forgive me. Uh, Ranking Member Portman, you are correct. That is the number of arrests. Uh, we removed 59,011 people in fiscal year okay. 2021. Out of 1.2 million apologies. unlawful migrants that have well, been issued a final order of removal. Let, let me, if I, let me, if I can, um, uh, first focus on the 59,000 figure, uh, because our focus has been on individuals who pose the greatest threat to our public safety uh, in, in the execution of smart and effective law enforcement. 46% of the ICE removals were for people convicted of felonies or aggravated felonies compared to 18 percent during the previous four years and 17 percent the year before that. So our focus first and foremost in execution of our yeah. security mission is the removal of people that pose the greatest no, I, public I, safety I, threat. I understand that. I understand that. And, and you know, <laughs> you are deporting a lot fewer people. And so you're focusing on, on those uh, who have criminal records, and therefore your percentage of those will, will be higher. You were in the Obama administration. Uh, I worked with you then. You were Deputy Secretary. Um, your deportation numbers are 80 percent lower than they were under the Obama-Biden administration. Forget the Trump administration, the Obama-Biden Obama administration. DHS was deporting about 350,000 unlawful migrants each year on average as you know, because you were, you were there. There's an important fact uh, to explain that uh, distinction, and that is the implementation of Title 42, which um, uh, does not account f uh, for a removal. Under Title 42, the, we, have, we have used Title 42 to expel, I believe, more than 50 percent of the people in About 55 percent. So that's correct. It, but that's, I'm talking about the people who come into the country. Remember, we're at record levels of people who are allowed into the country, uh, primarily because they have made a claim under asylum uh, for Central America and Mexico. Only 15 percent of those will ultimately be allowed uh, to stay in the country under that adjudication. But they tend to stay because you're not deporting them and you're not doing what you said on Fox News, which is that if their claims do not prevail, they are promptly removed from the United States. Uh, it's just not what's happening. I mean, we can argue whether that's right or wrong, but I think the American people deserve to know, uh, don't you, that we are not removing people at this point. Well, we are, that removing, correct? We are removing people as quickly as we can, and well, we're focused as— 59,000 is well, about 3 or 4 percent. <laughs> if I may, uh, a ranking member Portman, a, a, a few thoughts. Um, first— uh, we are working with Immigration and Customs Enforcement, specifically enforcement and removal operations, to increase the number of removals that we're able to effectuate. So, um, we are seeing now an increasing number of individuals from countries of origin to which we have difficulty removing them. For example, Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua, we are seeing more than 1,200 
uh, Cubans each day because of the oppression of the authoritarian regime in Cuba. And I believe that there are uh, members of the United States Senate that would not endorse our removal of Cubans back to Cuba. Yeah. Certainly, Thank you, Mr. Secretary, let me, let me continue because my, so, my time's so it's about a very, to expire. It's a very complex Well, landscape. of course it's complex, but the vast majority of people we're talking about do not come from Cuba or Venezuela no, but I'm, uh, but, uh, or any other country where they cannot be returned. So I, I just, I'll give you a chance here. Would you like to change your assertion that asylum seekers who do not prevail are promptly removed from the United States? No, we're doing that to the fullest extent that we can. Well, you're mm -hmm. not doing it to the fullest extent you can, and you know that. 59,000 people, 3 or 4 percent. Back in the Obama administration, you were doing 350,000 on average per year. So it's just not accurate. Now, I'm, I'm trying to help you here to be able to clarify the record. Well, uh, because actually, it's not, it's uh, the Amer American people, when they listen to us saying everybody who comes in goes through an adjudication process, if they don't get asylum, they're promptly removed. It's just not accurate. Now, you, you can argue that that's the way it should be for policy reasons, whatever reasons you or the administration might have, but it's not accurate to mislead the American people. That, that, is, that is not my position. It is not my position that that's the way it should be. We should remove individuals who have made their claims Okay, now we're making progress. In so you, you believe we should not be doing what we're doing. In fact, we should be removing no. more people who did not we, qualify. We should be able to remove individuals who've made a claim for relief, who've had that claim heard by an immigration court, and the immigration court denied that claim. Those individuals do not have a legal basis to remain in the United States, and therefore should not be permitted to do but, so. But, and but you and the administration have a, have a policy not to do that. That's Ranking the point. Member Portman, that is precisely why we promulgated the asylum officer rule to more expeditiously be able to remove individuals. Well, we, we can talk about that later, but the asylum officer rule says that you, uh, at the border, get a quick adjudication. But if the adjudication is that you do not qualify because you're an economic refugee, which we understand a lot of people want to come here for economic reasons, I probably would too if I was one of those fathers. But those people are then allowed to appeal that decision to the regular immigration court judge. So we're right back into the, into the backlog, which is unfortunate. Well, we'll have an opportunity for our second round to talk more about this, but I'm glad to hear you say that you think we ought to be actually following the law and removing people who do not qualify, and I look forward to working with you to make that actually happen. All right. Uh, Mr. Uh, Senator Portman, as you know, there will be another round, and I'm sure you'll get uh, another bite out of the apple. Uh, Mr. Secretary, great to see you. Thank you for, not, not just for being here,